Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Ford Nationals. And I'm looking for some great Mustangs. And when I look for great Mustangs, there was one year in particular. And I'm with Denny. Denny, what's your last name? Enox. Denny Enox. And Denny had a car. What is this car? The one year only. 78 Mustang King Cobra. The King Cobra. I consider it one of the Mustangs that brought them back. Yes. Because it was, you share with me, what was your thoughts on the on the Cobra 2s? Which were nice, however. I didn't really care for the Cobra 2s until I've seen a King Cobra. And that was all it took. Yes. So with that being said, how long have you had this one? Since 95. Okay. Well, no, or 94. 94? Let's yeah. step right alongside me and let's take a look at the King Cobra. And we're going to show with you how, uh, Dad, we're going to show you how, um, what that looks like. So let's take a look at the all-important, first of all, that chin spoiler was so, so great, wasn't it? It was just done yeah. right. Yeah. And they put the nice stripes through there. The all-important Cobra badging. And then, and then we've got that here. Let's take a look at the side. We've got the light hitting it right now. Come on alongside me. So, Denny, when you're driving this car, what's the reaction when they see the King Cobra? You get a lot of head turning. Do they and get a lot of people to uh, yell at you to say in a good way. And give you All right. <laughs> thumbs up. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's so rare when you see them today, right? Yes. I mean, we just pulled in, and already people have walked up to you and said, just a great car. Yeah, Carlisle's probably the only place you'll see King Cobras. And this is it. So let's share it here, and we'll show some of the other features. Come on alongside me. Thank you. We've got some of the specific pinstriping, and this is a King Cobra feature piece here. And these wheels were specific to the King Cobra as well. You were sharing a story with these wheels with me. Danny, What's you were that? sharing a story with these wheels with me. What was the story that you had? Well, when I first bought the car, it had a uh, clear coat on it. Okay. And it was dull and cracked and got water underneath it, turned ashy. And I had somebody take the clear coat off. And now all to do is polish them. That's why they look the way they do. They did. look great. And these are difficult wheels to keep clean because there get a lot of little dust and stuff inside them, little holes. Yes. And your car mm -hmm. looks great. And these were the aftermarket uh, yes. pieces, the louvers. Yes. yes. Tell me about this. Did this come with it? Yes. Because it had the T-top. Yes. Got it. And this is also um, a leather uh, vinyl top yes. to it. Let's take a look at the back. The original owner told me that these louvers actually came from Ford when oh. he bought it new. Okay. And we've got the very specific striping. And if you look at any Cobra 2, it does not have that King Cobra emblem like that, although the spoilers will look very similar. Now, it had dual exhaust at the time or no? No. Okay, so that was an add-on. Let's take a look at the interior, shall we? So right off the bat, we have the uh, door tag here, which shows all of our details. In 78, that's where they had them. I want to show that door. Have you seen any other orange King Cobras? Because I remember they used to come in blue with orange no, pinstriping. It's, it's the second rarest color. Is that right? What What is the rarest color? Yellow. Now, I've seen blue, blue with the, the orange. And is that the most popular color, so to speak? I think the most popular colors are red and black. Red and black, okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty unique when you see them. Now there was nothing on the inside that told us different, just on the outside. The only thing that's different on this car is the exhaust. Okay, but I'm saying like from an interior perspective, they didn't have a King Cobra badge or anything like that. No. Okay. And was the cassette player? That was time period correct, yes, right? That's original. The and clock's we, original. And the clock's working. Love it. Oh, gee, I love the King Cobra. And look at this. <laughs> you got a little snake in there. And there, and these seats fold back. And there's your lookout, the louvers. And there's your T tops. 
and you can see how they're operational. And they had that little Cobra two piece and a little piece there. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Now you were sharing something with me. Tell me about this tag. I call it the bug tag. I forget what they, the real name is for it. But it has the manufacturer's serial number on it, and down here it has KC. King Cobra. And then that number matches not only the number on the door, but we've but got the, the number here. Yeah. That's how you can tell if it's a real King Cobra. Right there. All right. And everything under here looks wonderfully fresh and original. Some slight modifications, but everything just the looks, exhaust. Just the exhaust. Yes. Well, let's hear it, shall we? Okay. How loud, how loud do you want it? Well, let, let's let's let it idle. Good question. Let's let it idle first. into that for just a second. We're both smiling after that. Come on out. What a wonderful toy you have. It's fun that, to drive, too. That, that dual exhaust really changes some things. Well, it's the headers and the mufflers that make it sound like that. It yeah. makes the 5.0 sound good. It really does. Wonderful car. If people like what they see, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, they can see all the cars. Denny, what a treat to bring your King Cobra in the hottest video. Thanks for being on my car store. Well, thank you.